Previously on Tex Grabner Outdoors, I went to Petco. I picked up some antler buds, brought them home, drilled them out, filled them in with JB Weld, and inserted a 5 16 by inch and a half bolt with a washer and left them overnight for the JB Weld to harden. Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors, down on my knees like an old cougar hound. But it's time to test out my stag limb bolts. They got good and hard overnight. So we'll see how they work out. Tighten these down. Now this situation has a couple of different ends to the story. This can work perfectly and I can be real happy about it. Or I can end up really pissed off. Or some of you will be very happy if this ends in a trip to the hospital. So the question is, can these stag limb bolts that I've created with a drill bit, antler buds from Petco and JB Weld, actually hold up to the strain of being drawn? Well, I've got the bow strung up. And so far they're working. But that don't tell a shit till I've actually shot it and seen whether they fall off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth time. Will these stag limb bolts that I've created hold up to actually being shot? Moment of truth time. Well, they appear to be in their original position, still securely on the bow. So I can in fact say that this does work. It's not very much more cost effective than actually buying antler limb bolts from Three Rivers Archery. But I will say it does look pretty sharp. It didn't take a whole lot of effort on my part to do. Just some JB Weld, drill out your antler buds, get a 5 16 bolt that's long enough, mix up your JB Weld in the holes and set a washer on top when you actually put your limb bolts into the hole in the antler. Make sure that it's level, let it get set up overnight. JB Weld's going to take about 12 hours to fully harden and as we just saw, it is in fact durable enough to withstand the shock of being shot, but also the stress of being strung and pulled back to full draw. You're going to want to make sure that you only drill your hole deep enough in each antler bud to actually have it sit flush with the head of the screw with the washer sitting on top to ensure that the pressure is only on the bolt and not on the antler bud to where it's going to have the limb actually force the antler bud off the end of the bolt. If you were wanting to see a more sensible and less flamboyant incarnation of my Samick Sage 50 pound recurve with my custom duct tape finish and my homemade stag limb bolts, here you go. Looks much more beautiful, much more sensible, form and function. You'll be seeing more of this bow in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. The Sam X Sage is looking pretty bitchin' right now. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. 
and thanks for watching Tech Scrabner Outdoors. Do it your fucking self.